What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's Ryan here and today I want to talk about my monitor. Now, my monitor is taller than your monitor because it has a 3 to aspect ratio. Now it's 4K, but they call it 4K plus. It's 3840 by 2560 instead of 2160, which means it has 400 extra vertical pixels. Now I got this monitor for one reason and one reason only, and that's to write code. Now I didn't get this monitor to play games or watch movies or any of that. And so when I started looking around for a monitor, I wanted a big monitor that could fit a lot of code. Now the thing about code is code tends to be bigger vertically than it is horizontally, right? A single file might have 300 to 1,000 lines of code. So I'm not gonna lie, when I looked around, I saw all the widescreen and ultra and super duper ultra wide monitors, and I wanted to get the huge Samsung Galaxy Odyssey or whatever it's called, like the super duper ultra wide monitor, because I'm like, yeah, I could fit all these windows. But the thing is, I don't need to fit a lot of windows on my screen. What I need is to fit a lot of lines of code on my screen. I'm the type of programmer where, yeah, I might have five or six windows open, but they're all on different workspaces that I can switch between. Now, when I started looking for a monitor, I noticed that everything had a widescreen aspect ratio, 16.9, 21.9, 32.9. The reviews were great, and everyone said you could fit so many windows on the screen. You could have so many windows open at the same time. It's gonna help your productivity so much. But as a programmer, my problem was never about the number of windows on the screen. It was about how many lines of code I could see. Because when you can only see that tiny little sliver of code, like having an ultra wide monitor doesn't fix the problem of not having enough vertical space. If anything, they make it worse because they have even less vertical resolution than most 4K monitors. So with this monitor, it helps so much with being able to traverse a large code base and quickly find the things that I need, but it is also 4K plus, so I can have multiple windows open if I want to, it's gonna be a little awkward, but I can. So one thing about this monitor that caught me by surprise is the USB-C support. So I can hook this up to my laptop through USB-C and it uses that for display, but it also uses that to charge up my laptop at the same time. So that's one less cable that I have to have plugged into the wall. And also because this monitor has other USB-C ports, well, guess what? Those USB-C peripherals also become connected as well. So hey, if you're looking for a great monitor for programming, maybe consider one with a taller aspect ratio. They are really hard to find because everything is geared towards gaming and in gaming, it seems like wider is always better. But if you can find one of these monitors with a taller aspect ratio, it's really gonna help with seeing more lines of code on the screen. And for me, it helps me be more productive because I don't have to squint and try to shrink things down just to fit more code on the screen. Now this particular model is the Huawei MateView and it's a little tougher to find. I didn't see it on Amazon. I actually ordered it from another online retailer. But my hope is that we start to see more productivity monitors and not necessarily gaming monitors because what a programmer needs is different than what a gamer needs. So hey, if you like the video, please like and subscribe and support a little YouTuber like myself. Thank you for watching.